Still in critical condition after a horrifying fall that happened right in front of terrified families. Nine performers in all with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus hospitalized after a metal rig that suspended acrobats 30 feet in the air by their hair collapsed inside a Rhode Island arena, sending them plunging to the ground. The platform landing right on top of them. Right now, investigators are focusing on a clamp that snapped on that rig, trying to figure out why it failed. There's a couple different reasons, but that will require some analysis. Uh, OSHA will take custody of, of those pieces in the next few days, and then they'll determine whether, the, whether and if they're going to send it to a laboratory for further analysis. Well, the circus is scheduled to reopen on Thursday night in Hartford, Connecticut. In the statement we got about an hour ago, a spokesperson told us the Hair Hang Act will not be in that show, and other aerial acts will undergo a full safety inspection before performing. An aerialist right here in the Bay Area has performed that same death-defying act. And all new at 5, our Jacqueline Iglesias spoke with her at our Haines City home about what safety measures are in place for these kinds of stunts. This is an adult playground. And it's right in Paula Blackwelder's Haines City backyard. Only magic. Blissful, magnificent. Blackwelder spent more than two decades working as a circus aerialist, performing death-defying stunts like hanging from her feet with no net below and even hanging by her hair. An act very similar to the one that went tragically wrong in Rhode Island yesterday, sending nine performers plummeting to the ground with no safety net below. It was uh, gut-wrenching. It was um, very sorrowful. I even had a moment of guilt. Black Welder never performed with Ringling's Barnum and Bailey Circus, but knows the rigors of the hair hanging act. We always wet my hair and we tied a rope around it from the bottom all the way braiding it to the top, put a ring in and loop the ring and then tied that. She would hang solo for seven minutes and yes, she recalls it really hurting. But Black Welder says all the kinks are worked out during the grueling training. Everyone is practicing countless hours, even the jugglers, for instance, minimum four hours a day. Black Welder says the public needs to look at aerialists as highly trained athletes and understand the athletes are well taken care of. Crews are constantly checking on cables, cords, and harnesses before and during a show. There's a risk involved in entertainment, whether it's live or pre-recorded. Blackwelder believes Sunday's tragedy is not a black eye in the circus. Rather, it's opening eyes to what performers put themselves through to share their talents with the public. In Haines City, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.